Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. On this channel, we try to cover all things reality, TV news, and gossip, as well as trending topics. And today we're going to be talking about Janelle Evans Eason from T Mom, who recently regained custody of her son, Jace. Um, Barbara has been raising Jace for the past 14 years, but in March of 2023, Barbara signed custody back over to Janelle with the idea that things were going good on the property that this would be a good idea and from what my sources are telling me this was like a, a transition it was not just throw him in the water you know to see if he could sink or swim over at janelle's house it was a transition from what i have been told and it did okay the first couple of months but it was the last like two or three months or probably like the last two months that things started to spiral with Jace and he started really struggling and I know a lot of people are going to come for me with this but I've been told that when Janelle had him she took him off his medication and she substituted his medication with marijuana that is what I've been told by my source I've had other people confirm this and say yep heard that as well so it does make me wonder if him getting off his medication and then months down the you know he's starting to act out he's getting in trouble at school He's on marijuana for a few months and he's just starting to spiral. I know over on Twitter, a lot of people came for me because I said in Janelle's latest TikTok, he did look like he was under the influence of marijuana. Make no mistake, that is not me bashing Jace. Jace is 14 years old. If Jace is smoking marijuana because his mom is saying, here, take this for your ADHD. This is better for you than your ADHD medication. What is, what is he going to do? He is going to do that, of course. I know when I was growing up, weed was a cool thing to do. If you smoked weed, you were cool. I mean, literally. Um, it was never for me. I never liked it, but that's kind of what it was, you know, like back in the day, like all the, there were people that thought cool kids smoke weed. So Jace being 14 years old, you know, he may be, that may be a situation for him as well. Like, Oh, cool kids, but you're, you're cool. If you have a vape or if you're smoking weed. So I'm not blaming Jace when I say he looked high in the, the, um, TikTok that Janelle put up. I'm just saying, it's me, once again, calling out Janelle's parenting to say, I've been told this. I've been told that Janelle took him off his medication and substituted it for marijuana. To me, if that is true, then this is a point blank evidence that it did not work well for him. For one, he is 14 years old. For two, I know there are, you can get a doctor to prescribe it in certain states. It is legal in certain states and it can help with some diagnoses. However, if she really thought that this would help him, why not take him to a doctor and, and get it prescribed? One thing, though, is they are in North Carolina and it's illegal in North Carolina. Um, so that probably, you probably wasn't going to be able to do that anyway. But either way, he's 14. She's not a doctor. So we don't know for sure or not. But to me, the, the, like, the evidence is there that six months after he's no longer on his medication, he's posting things on social media saying he is depressed, that nobody loves him, that he would be better off if he's not here. So was it was it working for him? I, you know, I don't know. I I don't know. I know a lot of people, there are a couple of people that came for me on, on Twitter, like, oh, you need to do your research. It's good for you. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But he's 14. And how do we really know? Like, do we really know if it's good for him? It doesn't look like it was because if that's what he was, he was being given, he spiraled in six months of being with his mother. So I don't know. Either way, either way, he was with her for the six months. He started running away. He ended up back with Barbara after running away a third time, ended up in the hospital and making claims that his mom's uh, husband, David Eason, assaulted him. And those accusations of assault, I mean, there were police reports. They, know, they noted in the reports that there was evidence on his neck, his arms, scratches and marks on his arms that were consistent with the story that he was telling, right? So he moved in with Barbara for a little bit, but unfortunately he did leave Barbara's house as well. He ended up in a short-term facility where they were trying to figure out what was going to happen. CPS took custody of him and they were trying to figure out what would be the best thing for Jace. Unfortunately, you guys, somebody shared a video with me that Janelle posted on her TikTok where she said, my old lawyer is the new CPS judge or something like that. Or my, yeah, my old lawyer is the new CPS judge, the new judge that hand, handles CPS cases. And I'm like, 
we were talking about that a while back. You guys remember when we were talking about the judge who had taken over um, him having a connection to David and Janelle, and now CPS has dropped their case. So it really makes me wonder if the connection really was there. Either way, either way, Janelle has regained custody of James. CPS dropped the, the, the custody case. They closed it on February 13th. Now, when obviously when Jace made these allegations against David, um, CPS was investigating this. That's when CPS took custody of him and took him out of Janelle's custody. And um, oh my goodness, when that started happening, Janelle was just all over social media making every day, you know, on social media, you know, what's being said is not the truth. This didn't happen. The police are looking at the wrong person. My husband is innocent. Jace is the one that, that was the aggressor, blah, 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 blah. You know, she said so many things to paint Jace as the, the one that had the issue. Either way, CPS dropped the case. There is video ring camera footage of this attack, which is why an additional charge was tacked on for David's charges. He was initially charged with um, child abuse, which is a misdemeanor in North Carolina. I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but okay. And then once they got the video footage back where it was cleared up and they could see and hear more of what was happening, they added the additional charge of strangulation, um, assault by strangulation, which is a felony. So that took his case from um, like district court, to superior court. We still don't have a court date to my knowledge. But in the meantime, CPS, they opened a case for Kaiser and Inslee. They opened the case for Jays. Kaiser and Inslee, Inslee's case was closed about a month or so ago. So it was closed before Jace's. And then they closed Jace's case, which meant Janelle regained custody of Jace. Jace was supposed to be put into a long-term care facility. But when CPS closed the case, Janelle regained custody of him and she became she became responsible for his medical bills. Um, Janelle did reach out to MTV to ask if they would chip in to pay for his medical expenses. Yes, yeah, so she has custody of him. I do believe that he is back with her, that once she realized she had to pay for his stay in the medical facility, that she pulled him out. That is just my belief. I don't have confirmation on that yet. Um, but we know that she became legal, re legally responsible for his medical bills. And I also know they're very expensive. Those long, long term facilities are very expensive. So I don't think that she's going to she's going to do that either way. Either way, Janelle has really been going at her mom, Barbara, over the past few weeks, blaming everything that's ever happened in her life on her mom, Barbara, that Barbara messed her up, that Barbara messed Jace up. There's been a couple of times throughout the past, like. 10 years, I guess you could say. The Janelle has brought up Colin and Janelle has brought up Ashley. Um, throughout the old CPS case, there was a situation when um, Barbara had Inslee and Barbara needed to take a shower. So she asked Colin to keep an eye on Inslee. And um, Inslee was crying because she wanted to get in the bathroom, bathroom with Barbara. And Colin started recording her. I was like, hey, what are you doing? You know, come here, come here, stop crying. And I think he put it like on his Snapchat or something. And Janelle flipped out and went off on Colin publicly. She has talked bad about Ashley publicly. And to my knowledge, I've literally been watching this crap show since the beginning. And I know very little about Ashley. You know, I know a little bit of what my sources have told me. Um, but as far as what's out there and her speaking out, it just doesn't happen that often. And I put myself in her position. If I had a sister like Janelle and my mom raised my sister's child, and then my sister was constantly public, publicly bashing my mom. It would take everything in my soul to not defend my mom, which Ashley has done her best to stay out of it. She's really tried to like stay quiet. Every once in a while, she has made comments. One time she defended um, herself and her mom and Colin against some things that Janelle said against her. And now she is coming out again to defend her mom, herself and her brother. So, um, like I said, Janelle has really been putting all of this, everything that's happened to her and Jace on Barbara. She says she's going to make a documentary about the truth about what's happening. And now Ashley, she's responding to this. So Ashley put up a video over on TikTok and we're going to watch it really quickly. Oh, and this is Ashley in the picture with Janelle. 
And um, one of the things that Janelle said about Ashley back in the day is something along the lines of like, she posted a picture of Ashley when Ashley was like working as like a bartender and Ashley had a wig on. And she's like, the, she said that Ashley was like an escort or something like that. When really she's, she's never been an escort. My sources tell me Ashley's never been an escort. Ashley. Um, okay. I can tell you the deal with Ashley. Okay. So what I know from what my sources have told me, Ashley got pregnant with her boyfriend, her boyfriend and her got pregnant. Um, and her boyfriend left her. So she was a single mom. She started working like at bars and things like that. And Barbara kept her son while she worked. She was a single mom. Barbara helped her as well. Um, she ended up meeting another guy. I, I don't remember if they got married. Maybe, maybe not. But they had a child as well. And then they split up. And then Ashley continued to work. And um, Barb would babysit. And then the man, like uh, her ex, one day took the child that they shared together and took off out of state with the child. And for many years, Ashley was fighting against her ex to get the child back. So um, you guys remember there was one episode. Oh, the episode where Barbara says, Jace has his derby coming up. I'm going to be out of town with your sister. We got to go to New York or wherever it was. She's like, I got to go with Ashley. And Janelle flipped out. She's like, I'm going to be on spring break. And she's like, why are you always going to do things with Ashley? I have doctor's appointments and you're never there with me, but you're always there with Ashley. Well, that was during that time, from my understanding, where they were trying to get the child back because he literally came down and took the child and went out of state with the child. So um, Barbara also funded that situation as well. She helped Ashley with legal expenses with that situation as well, from my understanding. So Barbara has raised Jay's, has babysat her other grandkids so her daughter could work. When one of her grandkids was taken by the father and taken out of state, she helped financially to try to get the child back. You know, Barbara, she hasn't been completely perfect, but I do think she tries the best to her ability. Um, so, yes. Wait, she said her sister was an escort, but now she has an OnlyFans showing off her booty pimples. Yes. Um, now, and here's the thing. That was just a picture of her at work at, like, the bar that night. Um, and the wig comes because... Ashley has an illness. It's called trichotillomania. It's also called the hair pulling disorder, and it is a mental health condition. And if you go through a very traumatic experience, at, you know, throughout your life, usually like in childhood, it will bring this on. And Ashley did. I'm not going to go into that. That's not my business to tell. But Ashley did go through something very traumatic in her younger years, and that brought on the. So she wears wigs because her hair. So either way. It is a legit, it's, it's kind of like if you go through a traumatic event and you get PTSD, you can get this. And it is real. It's not something to be like laughed about. It, it's just, it's like biting your nails when you're nervous. You know what I'm saying? But Janelle insinuated that she was wearing wigs as a part of like her escort get up. And Janelle knows that's not true. And that was very crappy for Janelle to do that to her sister. Um, either way, her sister spoke out on social media on TikTok, and we're going to listen to what her sister has to say. And I will say, I've never, like, this is like the third time that her sister has ever even said anything. And I'm just like, put yourself in, in her position. If Janelle was your sister, and you had a sister who was constantly bashing your mom, would you speak up? How hard would it not be to defend your sister? So I commend Ashley for doing everything in her power to try to, like, stay out of it, because I would have been I would be in every media. Anybody that wanted to interview me, I would be like, bring it on. Because we've got to tell the truth. My mama is, maybe she's not perfect, but she raised your child. And you got to be grateful for that. Maybe she made some mistakes with us. But, I mean, who's the better parent? Barbara or Janelle? Janelle, look at all the mistakes you're making with your children. I can't even, it's going to be something, Janelle, when all your children get grown and they're on you the way you are on Barbara. And they blame you for all their issues the way you blame Barbara. Because I really, you look at the two parents, and it's like, at least Barbara tried, okay? So anyway, let's listen to the TikTok. It's very interesting. So tonight, I'm coming out of hiding. It's been four years since I haven't had social media due to my sister. 
I'm making this video to tell everybody that my sister is nothing but a liar. She's always been the same. She has she not only lied and destroyed my, my mother's reputation, she's destroyed my reputation and said horrible things about our family over the past 15 years. My mother is very upset. She's done with my sister. I have not spoken to my sister for eight years. And if she wants to retaliate, that's absolutely fine because I have a lot of things against her that I have kept secret for a very long time. She is also in contempt of court by both grandmothers, Grandma Doris and my own mother, Barbara, um, for the grandkids. And I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't involve myself in toxicity. I have a drama-free life. I am almost 40 years old and I still have to hear the same drama over and over again. What's going on with my nephew Jace is very sad and my sister is not going to get him help. She doesn't care about anybody but herself. And she will try to destroy anybody in the process because she operates on toxicity and negative things. There is no reason to talk such horrible things about my mother after she raised my nephew for 14 years of his life. And this is a very difficult situation. But I'm gonna ask you, Janelle, why don't you stop? Why can't you just keep your mouth shut and live your life happy? What is your problem? Why do you have to keep destroying our family? Why do you have to keep making up all these lies and spreading rumors about not only mom, but me? What is the problem? I, I don't understand you. Why do you operate on such toxicity? You really need to get some mental help. You've had substance abuse issues since you were about 13. You have serious mental health issues. You have been like this since you were a kid. And now you're gonna make a documentary and trash our family even more? You don't even know anything that went on. You were too young. I just don't even know what to say anymore. So when are you gonna stop spreading lies and rumors about me and everybody else? Everybody's sick of it. This is the first time in 15 years I've actually stood up and defended myself against you and our family. You are not justified for posting these horrible things about mom, me, or our brother, Colin. I just don't understand how and why you think it's okay to continue these things. Behind the camera, you're a very sad person and I feel very sorry for you. I really do. You need some help, a lot of help. Go ahead, say something about my vodka that I'm drinking because I needed a little bit of courage to speak up because this is a lot. You have not only damaged yourself and continue to damage yourself, you're damaging everybody in our family for your poor actions and you don't care at all. You have no empathy or compassion. I hope to God that you get your life together and you start moving forward because there's something seriously wrong with you. Stop talking horrible things about mom and the rest of our family. You're despicable. And I certainly do not operate on toxicity like you do. The only reason why I'm making this video is because you are toxic. You don't know when to stop. You are the reason why you have so many issues in your life. Nobody else, Janelle, it's you. So go ahead, retaliate, because I will happily be able to defend myself because I have a lot of stuff on you and I will keep defending mom and the rest of the family because this is ridiculous. So I'm going to ask you to stop before this gets very ugly because we've all had it with you. Every job that I have, and I just wanted to add this, every job interview that I have, they find out that I'm related to you, Janelle. They look me up in the internet. It's hard for me to find a good job. Now, I have a wonderful career in the healthcare industry and I'm doing wonderful with my life. Yet, you do nothing but sit on the internet talking horrible stuff about people and the rest of the family and start drama with everybody. I don't understand it. Why do you continuously keep engaging in this type of behavior? You know, it's really, really sad. It really is. Yes. I just don't even know what to say anymore, but you really need to stop because it's not right that you're doing this. And I hope this serves as a wake up call because you really need to get help. And I will keep speaking out because it is the right thing to do. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're almost 33 and you act like a 16 year old. I don't understand what the reasoning is. Can't you set a good example for your kids? Come on. 
So please get off the internet and do something productive and positive with your life because obviously you're not. I just don't get it. I don't get it. And the whole CPS thing, you're lying about that. Everything, you're lying about the whole CPS thing and the whole charges with David. David did assault Jace. And I know this because I have the sources that said so, for God's sakes. And don't even start that crap and saying, oh, she's jealous of me. I'm not jealous of you, Janelle. The only person who's jealous here is you. You've been jealous of me my entire life. Why are you such a negative, toxic person? So just please stop. When are you going to stop talking bad things about our family and the rest of the world? I have been on social media for almost four years. And the whole reasoning is you to protect my career and my reputation after you destroyed it over and over again with lies. So are you going to stop? Are you going to live a happy and productive life and move on from this? Or are you going to continue to retaliate and spread rumors and lies? Unbelievable behavior. Can't you grow up and be a woman instead of a little girl? I just don't even know what to say, but I wish you the best of luck. I've never done anything wrong to you. I've never hurt you. I've never said anything bad to you. I've always tried to be your sister. But obviously, you don't want that because of jealousy or whatever reason. I don't know. You've got serious issues, and I hope you find the help that you need and be the best mom that you can for your kids because you're obviously not doing that right now. I hope you wake up. Okay, so uh, a couple of points that, uh, yeah, good for her for speaking up. And like she said, she uh, you could see she didn't even try to hide it that she had to drink. She's like, listen, I know you're going to say something about the vodka in the picture, but that's okay. Yes, I had to take, I had to drink a little bit to have the courage to do this. One one thing that she knows is by saying something, and now she's even more so a target, which the main target in, in Janelle's life has been Barbara. And every once in a while, Janelle would still say things about Ashley. Probably if Ashley said something like privately, or maybe if Barbara ever said something like, even your sister Ashley knows how you are. Because Janelle has talked publicly about Ashley, which has a couple of times Ashley has responded like, wow, how dare you say that about me? Like, I've never done anything to you. Like, you are, you're always doing this. You're like, you're always attacking people. Like, I don't understand. So Janelle has popped off about Ashley on more than one occasion, leading Ashley to respond. But Ashley has not spoken out like this at all. Um, and I do think it's going to mean uh, that she, she knows she's going to be in Janelle's, uh, she's going to be Janelle's target now. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, listen, the vodka's fine. Yes, I need a liquid courage to do this. But someone, uh, Black Lives Matter, left a comment saying, you know, Janelle's probably drinking too, but of course she's going to use that as a way to paint Ashley as an alcoholic. Oh, y'all seen the vodka in the video? She's an alcoholic. Uh, if she was an alcoholic, she wouldn't have had the vodka in the video. You know what I'm saying? That Her first video, she would have made sure to hide it. You know what I'm saying? So I commend Ashley for speaking up. I, I probably would have got, like I said, I would have talked already. Somebody come from my mama the way that Janelle has came. And if I was Barbara, I really, 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 really hope somebody will encourage Barbara to get a restraining order. Because guess what that means if Barbara gets a restraining order? This documentary that Janelle wants to do where she's going to point the blame all at Barbara, that nips that in the butt right there. Because once there is a restraining order in place, that means Janelle cannot publicly say anything about Barbara. So the documentary's out the window. So Ashley, if you watch this, Barb, if you watch this, please get an RO so she cannot make a documentary and continue to profit off lies about your family that will only hurt y'all's reputation because that's what she's going to do here. And okay, something else. Uh, she made a very good point point as well. She said, why not, why not stop now? Like, you can stop now. You, you don't have to keep doing this, right? And I'm like, that's a really good point. You've got custody of your son back. CPS has dropped the case. Now, David is still, still facing charges for child abuse and strangulation. That That's still active. But you have your son back. If that's really what you wanted, and if that's really all that matters, then live your life. Live your life. Block the haters. Make your TikTok content because, you know, the only way that you do have money, the only ability that you have to make money is through social media. So I would suggest stop doing your OnlyFans because that's embarrassing to your kids. You might want to say that it's not, but it is. But, you know, do your TikToks, do your Instagrams, do your YouTube, but leave your family alone. 
leave your family alone. Be done with it. You have your son. If that's really what matters, then focus on having your son. That's it. She can't stop. Her mom won't talk to her. Ignoring a narcissist is hell for them. That is a really good point, too, because Barbara ignores her. Barbara, yeah. So, and the fact that Barbara will not say something publicly, that's what Janelle wants to do. That's why Janelle is constantly saying things about Barbara, because she wants to push Barbara to speak out publicly, because she wants a response. Because people like Janelle, they live for a response. That feeds them so they can continue, you know, going after somebody. So, um, yeah, I, it, it, if Janelle really only cared about getting Jace back and that was the most important thing to her, you have him. Do your content. Make your little TikTok videos of you dancing and let David do his little dumb music or whatever and just stop talking about your family. Just stop. Because at the end of the day, you can only blame your mom for so much. You're 31 years old. I think that's what Ashley said that Janelle was 31 years old. And I'm like, if I really, if I really wanted to, I can, I could sit back and blame. I mean, I don't have the problems that she has, but I could be like, oh my God, my childhood. Oh my God. My mom and my dad got a divorce. Oh my God. My dad cheated on my mom. Oh my God. You know, uh, my dad suffered through addiction. Oh my God. My mom married a man that was great, but he was gone all the time. And then my mom had to work. And then, oh my God, I was molested. Oh my God. I was sexually abused by a cousin for many, 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 many years. Oh my God. This. Oh my God. That. Oh my God. I, I was the youngest. So I never got into the tree house. I never got into the clubhouse because the age changed as soon as my sisters turned 13. Then it was now you got to be 13 and you can't be, tw you know, like I never got into, I never got into the club. I never got to write. Like, come on. At some point, like, I don't like it. I don't like when people constantly blame their parents. Because at some point, you have to make the decision, especially if you have the ability to acknowledge, okay, because my parents did this, it made me this way. So you're acknowledging that you are a certain way because of your parents. So that means you have the ability to change things. You can change the way that you respond to the way that you was raised. Do that. If you were raised so horribly, okay, go to therapy and change it. Stop blaming your mom, who, my goodness, did everything that she could to take care of y'all. Um, in my opinion, she will lose everything. She won't take responsibility for anything in her life. Yeah. So how many people does Janelle have versus Barbara? Which was another thing that I wanted to bring up. You know, it, there's a YouTuber that on YouTube that, you know, has no other YouTube friends and every source that comes to her, they end up regretting it. And a lot of people's like, you know, maybe you need to look at yourself. And it's the same way with Janelle. Janelle, all the friends that you had in high school or, or you know, school, like not one of them considers themselves your friend anymore. All of them have been like yeah janelle's crazy like i try to be her friend but when i do, wouldn't do what she wanted you know every one of them almost have like spoken out publicly said i'm not I'm, i don't associate with her anymore your mom your sister your brother you even said the lawsuit where y'all lost that those were friends of y'all's but it got ruined because of y'all every friend every boyfriend you know uh my god uh was it Cortland that was a marine and he, literally the relationship that he had with you you always blame you, oh they they attacked me you call the cops on everybody you know um tanya you can be on janelle's side but i would love to wonder why can you can, can you let me know why you're on janelle's side and here's the thing i don't agree when people say leave her alone let her be she was on tv for 10 years and she still wants to be a public figure. That's why she wants to do a documentary. That's why she's on YouTube. That's why she's on TikTok. That's why she's on Instagram. And you can't, I mean, when you, okay, Gary was the Marine. Cortland was the drug addict. That's right. Um, you can't, when you're going to be on social media, you just can't decide how people take you. People, especially when you put your whole life on social media. She talks about her kids. She puts her kids on social media. She talks about, you know, 
what's going on with Jay's to the point where people had to get a they had to get a um gag order in place to stop her from publicly talking about this. So you just people's gonna talk. And at the end of the day, if everybody stopped talking about Janelle, she would no longer be relevant and she would no be, no longer be able to profit off social media if she's not relevant. You know? Um yeah, any attention, even negative attention, is positive for her. Exactly. Um, I can say Barbara was not perfect. I look back at, you know, I watched Teen Mom. I've watched every episode that Janelle and Barbara's ever been on. And I can say, looking back, I see some where I'm like, I cringe at, you know, the yelling back and forth. But I can also understand that everybody's not perfect. And I did that for Janelle for a long time. I was like, dang, Janelle's not perfect. There was a long time where I still felt pity for Janelle. And even when she left David and she moved to Nashville, I was like all for her. I'm like, yay, great job, Janelle. I was like, you know, I hope she gets it together. I hope she, you know. Well, you know, Tanya, I hate that you think that, but that's actually not the case. If you go back, uh, there is two different episodes where Janelle one was when she was pregnant with Kaiser. Janelle sat down with Barbara and she's like, so I want to talk to you about getting Jay's back. And Barbara was like, okay, you know, what's the plan? And she's like, well, you know, I want to have him enroll in school over here. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, and Barbara said, well, we need to take it slow because Barbara stated time and time again, I'm his grandmother. I want you to have him. But she also worried because guess what when janelle was with nathan nathan was an alcoholic and barbara knew that and barbara said that she said janelle you're doing good but nathan's drinking concerns me you guys remember that episode he says i haven't even drink today and he goes i haven't had a drink since and barbara goes last night because janelle had called her the night before because janelle and nathan was fighting over nathan's drinking so every time Barbara absolutely wanted Janelle to have her son. But Barbara, she cared more about Jace's safety than whether or not she picked Janelle off. And to me, that speaks a lot. When, as a mother, you can put someone's safety above what your child wants. Because if you're just giving their kids what they want, I mean, you're going to end up with a with a kid that you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're just giving your kid what they want and you're not taking safety into account and what's best for the kids, then what? I mean, I remember several episodes where she cried, where Barbara cried. It was like, I'm so proud of you, Janelle. You know, like, um, we're going to we're gonna get it all worked out. We're going to get it worked out. We're going to, you know, I, I want to be grandma. I want you to have him. But she also did not want Jace to think she threw him away. She's like, I don't want him to think that I just gave up on him and I just, you know, threw him away. So I want him to know, too, what's going on as well, you know? Also, every time she is single, her and her mom are good at working things out. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, to me, I don't really understand how anybody can dislike Barbara but like Janelle. When Barbara literally did everything for Jace, everything. And she spoke several times about wanting Janelle to have him. She just wanted to make sure Janelle was ready to have him. And to be quite honest, from my, what my sources tell me, Janelle without David still don't want to raise kids. Like, that's why Janelle has to have David there. You know, like, she can't do it alone. Um, if, if Kaiser is acting up or if Inslee, you know, she's like, oh, David, 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 because she alone struggles to do it. When you look at how many people Barbara has, and my sources tell me Barbara has friends that have been her friends for years, years, um, versus the fact that Janelle can't keep a friend. Um, all of her ex-boyfriends, she almost ruined their lives, my, you know, a lot of them. Um, So to me, that speaks volumes. When you cannot keep a friend, it's the, at some point you got to look at yourself and say, am I the issue? Because I can't keep a friend. 
even like even her family, you know, even her family. At some point, you have to say, like, maybe I'm the issue. Maybe it's the way that I treat people. I don't know. Uh, also, I noticed that Ashley says she works in healthcare. Janelle likes to portray that Ashley was like crazy and, um, you know, an escort and all these crazy things. But I don't know. To work in healthcare, she's got to be, you know, a pretty decent person, in my opinion. Or I would say not. Maybe that's a, maybe I shouldn't make that. Maybe that's a, I shouldn't make a blanket statement like that because I do know there's people that work in healthcare and they find out they're abusing older people. But I'm just saying, to work in healthcare when you come from that family, I'm not trying to like bash anybody. I'm just speaking my opinion. And my opinion is Ashley has every right to finally speak up and defend her mom. Um, wasn't Inslee a witness to the pistol whipping incident? She sure was. Inslee was there and so was Kaiser. You know? Um, yeah, when David was yelling and screaming, and hit somebody and pulled a gun on somebody and then hit them in the back of the head. Yes. Yes. Inslee and Kaiser were both there. You could see Inslee in the video and you could hear Kaiser say, Mama, let's go. So, yes. And what about the video? Um, what about the video where Janelle, somebody was like tailgating her or whatever. So she followed the man to his house, followed him. Jay's in the front seat. She put Jace in so much danger that day. What if that man would have been psycho? And he would have, you know, I mean, here's the thing. You ain't even got to be psycho. You follow me to my house, pull up in my driveway. And I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have my husband on the phone and say, babe, somebody is on my butt yelling and screaming at me, following me. I'm about to pull into the house, be outside ready because we're about to, we're about to, go to war with these people following me home. Literally, she follows this man to his house, then pulls a gun on him before backing over his mailbox, which I think is like a federal offense. Is it mailboxes? Like, you know, you're not supposed to mess with mailboxes. Either way, what kind of dumb decision was that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my, in my opinion, if you want to, to, to raise your children, you also have to know not to make stupid decisions like that. Like, as an adult, I don't know any adult that would say, hey, it's a good idea to follow this man to his house. I'm a female. He's a man. I have my child. But yeah, let's follow him to his house. That's dumb. But she did it. And then she pulled a gun. And then when Jace got with May May and they're telling May May about what happened, you know, he's like, yeah, mom pulled a gun and blah, 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 blah. And Barbara's like, Janelle, you pulled a gun on the man? Nope. Nope. No, I didn't. And Barbara's like, well, that's that's what Jace is saying. She literally said, Jace, why are you saying that? That is, she gaslit the hell out of him. And could you imagine your mom, the person that's supposed to teach you not to lie? She's supposed to teach you not to lie, but then she's like mad at you because you told the truth and she's calling you a liar. Like that's the, that's what Janelle is inflicting upon her children. How is that going to affect their mental health? I mean, I just don't understand how anybody could support someone like that and also support someone that sat in the vehicle while their husband got out, walked up to the neighbor's house. Well, they pull up to the neighbor's house to get Jace. He gets out and he proceeds to attack Jace, yelling horrible things to Jace, cursing Jace, I'm going to blah, 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 blah to you with his hands around Jace's neck. And what we y'all know is not all of what happened. I mean, y'all know about the this, but there was other things that happened in that incident. And she just sat in the car with Kaiser and Inkley in the car. Marissa was going to a friend's house. Uh, but yeah, she just she just sat in the car as and watched. I don't know how anybody can support that. I, I, I just really don't. I don't. I'm glad Ashley spoke up with integrity, class, and no curse words. Hashtag classy. I agree. Is Jay's living back out at the land? I thought David was allowed around him. So here's what we know. Uh, he's been there because she's putting it all over on social media. In my opinion, she's posting it on social media as a like, ha ha ha. See, told you guys he is here. Y'all didn't know what y'all was talking about. So he's been there for sure. I've, I, my theory is there is still a no contact order in place between David and Jace, to our knowledge. Once CPS dropped the case and Jace went back into Janelle's custody, 
At that point, she had all rights to make every decision concerning Jace. Hey, yeah, I want to leave him in the, long, in the long-term care facility because that's what's best. She could have did that, but that meant she had to pay for it, which those places are not cheap. I mean, I think they literally cost by the day, and they can be anywhere from like a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars a day, okay? So I personally think she was like, oh, I can't afford that. I can't afford to, to leave him there, so he's got to come home. Now, because there's a no contact order in place, I think she sent David away and said, hey, I I'm going to go get him. We can't afford for him to stay there. I need you to go stay somewhere else for a couple of days. And I feel like she probably told David, give me a few days. I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to see if I can get the no contact order dropped due to CPS dropping the case. I'm going to let them know CPS dropped the case. Jace is back home. But it's not it's not in the best interest of me or our children for their dad not to be home. We don't feel protected. We don't feel safe. We need you here. La -di -da -di -da. So I feel like she's doing everything in her power right now, con calling everybody at the courthouse to probably try to get that dropped, that no contact order. Um, just saying, like, we need him here. That's my kid's dad. That's my husband. It, it, it's not, it's, it shouldn't be legally uh, okay to separate a, a husband and a wife. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's going to pull every angle possible to try to get the judge to drop that. And to be quite honest, I wouldn't be surprised if he does um, because the judge that put this in place, um, I think is the same judge that Janelle said used to be their lawyer. So I wouldn't be surprised if they drop it. Now, I hope that they say, no, we're not going to drop it. The um, charges have not been handled yet. They're still, you're still doing that. Um, yeah, and I'm not saying drop the charges. I'm saying drop the no contact order. I think she's trying to get them to drop the no contact order so David can come back home. And I think that's why David left. Like, okay, well, I'm going to leave for a couple of days, but you do what you can to get them to drop the no contact order so I can come back home. Um, if it doesn't get dropped, then legally he's not supposed to be there. Now, they are off in the middle of Bunny Rabbit Australia with a gate. So I feel like David may stay somewhere a day or two, but I don't think he's going to stay gone too long. I feel like he's going to be like, that's my house. I'm coming home. Just don't tell nobody. That's what I believe will end up happening. Um, if they do not get it approved for him to come home, I feel like he will go back home anyways. That's just my opinion. I hate to say this, but I feel like things will go south with Jason and David again. Well, I do too. Um, one thing that I'm pretty certain is Jason's not happy. Well, you know, something happened with him living at April's a couple weeks ago. So I'm wondering what happened there. Did he run away? Is that why he got put in the long-term facility? I don't know. And I do know people have tried to encourage Barbara to get an RO, uh, to get a restraining order on Janelle. Um, but I know back then when people were trying to talk her into it, from my understanding, she still held on to a little bit of hope that her and Janelle would be able to mend their differences. But Ashley's speaking out and her saying, my mom's over it. She's done. And I've had a sore, another source say, like, yeah, Barbara's over it. It really makes me wonder if Barbara would be to the point to where she would get a restraining order. Y'all remember hearing about that phone call that Janelle and David made to Barbara a couple weeks back? That happened. They did call Barbara yelling and screaming and threatening her. Hopefully she recorded well. Thought about that as well. Anyways, you guys, we have 600 people in the chat. If you guys don't mind, Please hit that thumbs up button. I would appreciate it if you guys would do that. I stay on top of this topic concerning Janelle, Jace, Barbara. So if you're new here and this is a topic that entertains you and you want to stay up to date on it, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button on your way out, follow my other social media accounts. What I'm really interested in is what happens at court. And if it gets dropped, knowing what we know, that there's evidence I've literally talked to way too many people who have confirmed the video. So I just, I would be like flabbergasted. Even whenever I told my husband that CPS dropped the case, he was like, dude, somebody's getting paid off. Like, this makes no sense. Um, and then I was talking to other people um, that was like, you know what? You would absolutely be floored if you heard some of the cases that CPS closes that should not be closed. And then like, months down the road, a, a kid is dead. 
or you know, something terrible happens, you know? Anyways, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. That really helps with the algorithm. If you do hit that thumbs up button, if anything else comes out, I'll hop on here and I'll let you guys know. Bye, guys.